Good morning, Captain. Good morning, Captain. How's the baby, Sam? Sir, I think she's getting ready to tell your first word any day now. How can you tell? She just looks like she has something to say. Excuse me. Sorry I'm late. All right, Danny, I know you don't have a good excuse, so I won't force you to come up with a bad one. Thank you, sir. This first one's for you. Seems you're moving up in the world. Been requested by division. Oh. Requested to do what? Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. A Marine corporal named Dawson illegally fires a round from his weapon over the fence line and into Cuban territory. What's a fence line? Sam? A big wall separating the good guys from the bad guys. Teacher's pet. PFC William Santiago threatens to rat on Dawson to the Naval Investigative Service. Dawson and another member of his squad, PFC Loudon Downey, go into Santiago's room, tie him up, stuff a rag down his throat, and an hour later, Santiago's dead. Attending physician says the rag was treated with some kind of toxin. He poisoned the rag? Not according to them. What do they say? Not much. They're being flown up here tomorrow, and on Wednesday at 0600, you'll catch a transport down to Cuba for the day to find out what you can. Meantime, go and see Lieutenant Commander Joanne Galloway with Internal Affairs. Any questions? Uh, the flight to Cuba, was that 0600 in the morning, sir? <laughs> Seems important to division that this one be handled by the books on the signing co-counsel. Any volunteers? No. Sam. Sir, I got a stack of papers on my desk about a mile Work high. Work with Cappy on this. Doing what? Cappy will have this done in about four days. Doing various administrative things. Backup. Whatever. In other words, I have no responsibilities here whatsoever. Right. My kind of case. Right. Right. Okay, but I've got to have that report by Wednesday. Hi. Hold on. Hi. Daniel Caffey, I was told to meet with, uh... Mm. Lieutenant Commander Galloway. Is that a briefing? I'll call you back. You're the attorney division assigned? I'm lead counsel to Sam Weinberg. I have no responsibilities here whatsoever. Come in, please, have a seat. Lieutenant, how long have you been in the Navy? Going on nine months now. And how long have you been out of law school? A little over a year. I see. Have I done something wrong? No that when I petitioned division to have counsel assigned, I was hoping I would be taken seriously. No offense taken, in case you were wondering. Commander, Lieutenant Caffey is generally considered the best litigator in our office. He successfully plea bargained 44 cases in nine months. One more, I get a set of steak knives. Have you ever been in a courtroom? I once had my driver's license suspended. I... Danny. Commander, from what I understand, if this thing goes to court, they won't need a lawyer, they'll need a priest. No, they'll need a lawyer. Dawson's family's been contacted. Downey's closest living relative is Jenny Miller, his aunt on his mother's side. She hasn't been contacted yet. Would you like me to take care of that? Sure, if you feel like it. One of the people you'll be seeing down there is the barracks CEO, Colonel Nathan Jessup. I assume you've heard of him. Who hasn't? He's been in the papers lately. He's expected to be appointed director of operations at National Security Council. Really? These are the letters that Santiago wrote in his eight months at Gitmo. That's Guantanamo Bay. I knew that one. He wrote to the fleet commander at HQ Atlantic, to the commandant of the Marine Corps, even his senator. He wanted to be transferred off the base. No one was listening. Are you with me? Yeah. Finally, he wrote to the Naval Investigative Service, where he offered information about Corporal Dawson's fence line shooting in exchange for a transfer. Right. Is that all? Lieutenant, this letter makes it look like your client had a motive to kill Santiago. Got you. And Santiago is... Who? The victim. Write that down. Am I correct in assuming that these letters don't paint a flattering picture of Marine Corps life at Guantanamo Bay? Yes, among... Am I further right in assuming that a protracted investigation of this incident might cause some embarrassment for the Security Council guy? Colonel Jessup, I... Twelve years. I'm sorry? I'll get them to drop the conspiracy and conduct unbecoming. Twelve years. You haven't talked to a witness or looked at a piece of paper. Pretty impressive, huh? 
You're gonna have to go deeper than that. Commander, do you have some sort of jurisdiction here that I should know about? My job is to make sure that you do your job. I'm special counsel for internal affairs, so my jurisdiction's pretty much in your face. Read the letters. I'll expect a report when you return from Cuba. Sure. You're dismissed. I always forget that part. He's a little preoccupied. <clears throat> Team's playing Bethesda Medical next week. Tell your friend not to get cute down there. The Marines in Guantanamo are fanatical. About what? About being Marines. <laughs>